What is up this year? LA in a minute. And before there was Whole Foods, Erewhon, or even Sprouts, there was Mrs. Gooch's, a true pioneer in the health food and products industry. It was also the first grocery store chain started by a woman. And it happened right here in Los Angeles. I want to talk about the very influential history of Mrs. Gooch's. Let's get into it. Now, it's been 30 years since Mrs. Gooch's was acquired by Whole Foods, but Mrs. Gooch's was Whole Foods, especially here in Los Angeles. By the time they were acquired by Whole Foods in 1993, they were doing $85 million worth of sales per year in only seven stores, all here in Los Angeles. And the chain started with a single location in West L.A., founded by Sandy Gooch in 1977, who was a public school teacher who taught in Culver City. Born in Altadena, Sandra Gooch was then known as Sandra Buckner, and she was the daughter of a research biologist and homemaker, and she attended Muir High School in Pasadena. After high school, she attended University of Texas in Austin, oddly enough where Whole Foods is headquartered, and she returned back home to begin her teaching career. But her life and health soon took a turn for the worse. She had an eye infection and she suffered an allergic reaction so bad that her family took her to Scripps Institute in San Diego, where she had an eight-day stay to find out exactly what was wrong with her. The symptoms were eased, but then she had a sip of Fresca and the symptoms were turned even more intense. And then it was figured out that one of the chemicals in the Fresca was interacting with that antibiotic and causing her problems. That's when the epiphany hit. She would go fully clean and remove everything with the chemical from all of her cupboards. She went up and down the California coast looking for all natural ingredients, and she realized that she couldn't quite find everything she needed in Los Angeles. That's when she quit her job as a teacher and liquidated her retirement fund, and along with Dan Voland, opened the first Mrs. Gooch's store in West L.A. at Sentinella and Palms in 1977. This was revolutionary, that a philosophy that said no beer, no wine, no cigarettes, no caffeine, no hydrogenated oils, and no refined sugar or flour. She took out full-page ads in the newspaper touting her concept. And it worked. Within nine months, she had a second location in Hermosa Beach. She gave nutrition talks, did seminars on natural ingredients, and kept advertising, and Mrs. Gooch's kept on expanding. Mrs. Gooch's soon had seven locations and its own line of products, ingredients, and vitamins. And in 1993, Mrs. Gooch has agreed to a $56 million stock deal that merged the company with Whole Foods. And to put it in perspective, it was called Texas Food Chain. Mrs. Gooch's was actually the bigger name at the time. That said, Mrs. Gooch's quaint, old-timey, charming stores were soon absorbed into the Whole Foods brand. And even though Mrs. Gooch's Cafe still lives on in some locations, the last actual Mrs. Gooch's closed down in 1996. Sandy Gooch is still around today, educating people about natural and holistic living and continuing the legacy that she built as one of the true pioneers of the natural health food industry. So Mrs. Gooch's was a true pioneer in the grocer industry and actually is super important to the way Americans eat and look at health food and health products. So now it's rolled into Whole Foods, but if you look hard enough, you can still find a Mrs. Gooch's. All right, LA, it's been a minute.